Hi everyone, this is Easy Peasy, and I'm going to do my makeup collection video for you today. Um, here's an overview of my vanity area. I have this dining room table that I've sort of rigged up here with a shelf to make an L-shaped work area. And yeah, that's my vanity area. So let's just get right into it. Okay, I'm going to start down here. Okay, down here you can see my notepad and pen for ideas for videos and any notes I want to take. Down here is hair toys. This is just storage of backups and um, other things like that. Okay, we'll start over here. Um, on this top shelf, I have cotton balls, makeup sponges, pointy Q-tips for cleanup of makeup or my nails when I do my nails. This little guy, um, my dad got him for me once when I was really sick in the hospital, and I just like to keep him there. Just you know, just makes me feel good. In the back, you can see some inexpensive body sprays, which I use as air fresheners. Um, this is little plastic um, hair ties for the ends of braids. And these are all my brushes. These are um, eyeshadow and liner brushes, face brushes, and blush brushes. Back here, I just have some powder brushes and things for bronzing, a fan brush, a foundation brush. Most of my brushes are either Essence of Beauty or e.l.f., but I do have a lot from the um, hobby store also. Back here are my combs, um, scissors if I want to trim a couple split ends, um, hair sticks for getting my hair out of the way, hairspray, my Nivea lotion, a clock so I can see what time it is and I'm getting ready. Um, that little zebra bag is um, like makeup if I want to stick it in my purse. There's tissues. Um, I also keep my camera supplies up here, so I have my um, bag for my video camera and my tripod. And then this, um, I featured in a Target haul, and it's a little, um, like a little do-it-yourself shelf. And here I have my EOS lip balms, my digital camera, um, a clip, um, an orange stick for my cuticles, um, a broken hair stick that I use to like scoop out the last bit of product out of like um, jars and things, and a nail file. Over here are all of my pencil eyeliners. There's colors on the top. My whites over here. Um, these are all of my blacks and browns. Now down here are brow pencils and um, brow and um, uh, metallic eyeliners. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. And just a couple of lip glosses that I keep there just for applying real quick. Okay, um, up here is my mirror and a TV, so I can watch TV while I'm getting ready. And there's a bunch of makeup in there, and I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, we'll start here on this first shelf. I have a spray bottle, like to dampen my hair. There's sunscreen back there. This is all of my face and hair, um, and makeup remover, a mask hair stuff. This is Cetaphil. Well, it's Kroger brand Cetaphil for taking my makeup off. Um, there's a, another mask back there. Let's see. Vaseline. Um, more hair stuff. Um, coconut oil for my deep conditioning treatment. Next is blushes. I have some NYC. Maybelline. This is all Maybelline. Um, there's some CoverGirl cheekers back there. A couple of other different products. These are all concealers. I guess I could bring them out like this. There's my Maybelline. Um, Maybelline Superstay. L'Oreal True Match. Some other stuff. Here are all of my foundations and like um, face prepping stuff. So I have my Aveeno um, lotion with SPF. I have a couple of bronzers. My Cody Airspun Loose Powder, NYC Loose Powder, Clearasil, Kabuki Brush, um, Super Stay Foundation, another Kabuki, L'Oreal True Match, and Maybelline Matte Mousse. 
um, tinted moisturizer. And in this box, I have um, like flossers, makeup remover pads, Biore pore strips, band aids, stuff like that. And in this little thing, I have bobby pins, hair ties, and other bobby pin like items, but that aren't actually bobby pins. Like I have combs, good hair days pins, my spin pins are in there. This is all my lip stuff. I just keep it in this photo boxes. I have a ton of lip products. They're all from the drugstore. There's, I really like L'Oreal Color Riche and the Revlon Criss Cross. Um, let's see, what's this? Wet n Wild, L'Oreal. Um, I'm looking for a Jordana. This is um, a brand called Jordana, and it's called Pretty Shine. These are great lip glosses. You can get them really inexpensively at Walgreens. More Revlon. Let's see, I have a, a ton of stuff. I'm not going to go through all of this. Lip glosses and lipsticks both are in there, and lip balms. Um, okay, down here. These are all extra things. I have some extra storage containers, an extra box, Q-tips, cotton balls, makeup sponges, just extra stuff. <clears throat> okay. And in this thing, I have um, my wet wipes up there for, you know, cleaning off my hands and stuff, and a mirror to check the back of my hair. And in this top drawer, there are um, tools, like eyelash curlers, sponge, these little things, and like old mascaras or mascaras that I don't use but I keep um, for review purposes. So I don't wear any of these mascaras anymore because like this one's used up. This one I don't like. This is used up. This is just kind of eh. This is used up. But I keep them in case somebody wants to know um, what a certain product is so that I can um, show you what it looks like. This drawer is an exciting drawer. Okay, this is all of my eyeshadow. Well, almost all of my eyeshadows. Uh, um, over here are all my quads and trios. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are all probably going to either be CoverGirl or Maybelline. This is Maybelline. <clears throat> so those are all my quads and trios. And then over here, sorry, I'm shaking the camera everywhere are some more quads and trios, and then all of my single eyeshadows, which most of them are from CoverGirl, or Maybelline. Oops, he's turned around the wrong way. Um, let's see what this guy is, Aqua. And then in the back, I have all of my Wet n Wild Color Icon palettes. There's that guy. Here I have my two e.l.f. palettes. Um, here's usually what I used that day in case I want to go back and touch it up. I just lay it there, but he goes in there. Some Visine, and this is um, Palladio from um, Sally Beauty Supply. It's an eyeshadow primer. It works really well. And here's just like a couple of random things that wouldn't fit. So those are all of my eyeshadows. Um, hang on, I need to set you down for a minute. <clears throat> that drawer always sticks like that. Okay. And up here, I have, this is a brown mascara. Here, let me show you the overview. Okay, so this is a brown mascara, and these are all black mascaras. <clears throat> Over here are some palettes that wouldn't fit in the other drawer. So I have Runway Eyes by Milani, my Sally Girl stuff that I just did a tutorial on. Here's the rest of that. And some other Wet n Wild palettes. And this is a Revlon palette that I don't like. And this is just a random palette I got at the drugstore. And these are all of my... 
other mascaras. So I have Maybelline Great Lash, Maybelline The Colossal, CoverGirl um, Lash Blast Waterproof, and CoverGirl Volume Exact Waterproof. And these are all my liquid and gel eyeliners. So I have all of the L'Oreal Hip, Color Truth. There's another one. And I have all of the um, Wet n Wild liquid eyeliners, Mega Liner, of all of those. I have an NYC. Um, and my favorite liquid eyeliner is Prestige. So I have all of those also. And I do have... Um, a liquid eyeliner pencil by Milani, which I don't like these at all. They smear so bad. It's like you put them on and then you go to the bathroom 10 minutes later and it's all collected under your eye. And it's not like you've been sweating or running or anything like that. I just do not like those that style. Let's see. More wet and wild. Yeah. So that is my rather puny makeup collection compared to some people. Oh, there's my flashlight in case the power goes out. Um, my mirror. And brushes. I'm just kind of giving you an overview. And this is where I sit to get ready. And that's me. Hi. And um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, this was a request by I Enjoy Makeup. And she's a young girl, and she does some really cute videos, so you can check her out. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye.